I am Anil Kumar and here is a thinking question on solving quadratic equations. The question is, difference of two whole numbers is 3. The sum of their squares is 89. What are the numbers? So what we are given here is that x minus y equals to 3, where I am using x and y as two whole numbers, right? So x and y are two whole numbers, their difference is 3. The sum of their squares means x square plus y square is 89. So that is given to us. We need to find the numbers. How are we going to solve such a question? I will show you two different methods of solving it. Now one method could be that we can write y in terms of x and then solve. So let's do it. So from the equation given to us which is x minus y equals to 3, we can write what is y equals to, right? So y equals to x minus 3. Now we can substitute this in the given equation, right? So if we number these equations as 1, 2 and 3, let us say this is equation 1, this is given equation 2, we found this from equation 1. Now if I sub equation 3 in 2, sub 2 in or rather 3 in 2, right? 3 in 2. Then what do we get? Instead of this y, I'll write x minus 3, right? So we get x square plus x minus 3 whole square equals to 89. So I have one equation now in x1 variable. Let us expand this. We have x square plus expanding, we get x square minus 2ab, that means 6x plus 3 square, which is 9, equals to 89. Now we can bring all the terms together. We have 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 89 equals to 0. Now that gives us 2x squared minus 6x uh, minus 80 equals to 0. We can factor this equation. 2 is common. So we can say 2 times x squared minus 3x minus 40 equals to 0. Now we are looking for two numbers whose uh, product is minus 40 and sum is minus 3. Well, 8 and 5 can work for us. So we have 8 should be negative and 5 positive, right? So these are the numbers which can work for us. Now let's look into this equation from where we get our solution, right? So the equation for us is 2 times x minus 8 times x plus 5 equals to 0. If I equate this to 0, I get x is equals to 8. And if I equate that to 0, I get x equals to minus 5. Since we are looking for two whole numbers, we are looking for positive numbers, right? So, so we'll go for x equals to 8. x equals to minus 5 is not a whole number, it's an integer, right? So x equals to 8 is one of our solutions. So that is x equals to 8. We'll call this as 4 as our solution. Now we'll substitute x equals to 8 in equation 3, right? So we'll sub 4 in 3. So if we sub 4 in 3, we get the value of y equals to x minus 3. That means 8 minus 3, which is 5, right? So we get two numbers. Now we know that the two numbers are x equals to 8 and y equals to 5. So that is how we can actually solve this particular question, right? Now, this is the best way to solve it. However, uh, let us also look into alternate method of solving such questions, right? So here is an alternate method of solving. Now we'll begin with x minus y equals to 3. So we have x minus y equals to 3. If I square both sides, then what do I get? If I square, let us say both sides, I will get x square minus 2xy plus y square equals to 9. Correct? Now I know what is x square plus y square. It is 89, right? So, so I could write this as 
x square plus y square and minus 2xy equals to 9. Now I will rearrange, right? So and solve it on the other side. So basically I'll take 2xy to the other side. So we have 2xy equals to x square plus y square is 89 and then minus 9, right? Minus 9. So what I did was I replaced x square plus y square which is given to us as 89. So I wrote this as 89 minus 2xy equals to 9. Now I'm rearranging to find what is product twice xy. So twice xy we find is equal to 89 minus 9 is 80. So that is 2 times xy. So x times y is 80 divided by 2 or 40. So what do we know now? Now we know that product is 40 and difference is 3, right? So what we know now is that the product xy equals to 40 and x minus y is 3. What are the two numbers? Easy ways, prime factorization. So 40 could be written as 8 times 5. Do you see that? And we straight away get our answer. Well, there are other factors also, but 8 and 5 are the only numbers whose product is 40 and difference is 3, right? So alternate method provides us with the solution as x equals to 8 and y equals to 5. You could use this method also to solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.